Anschütz 9015 Sniper Test bei Air Gandhi. Base State Red Wolf Heritage Huben K1 at the Shooting Range. Steyr Pro X. Servus, thanks for dropping in. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Servus, thanks for dropping in. I can't remember the last time I was so proud when reviewing a gun. Plus excited, plus happy. Today I'm reviewing the Anschutz 9015 Sniper. You didn't know the 9015 Sniper before? Well, you could. Air Gandhi, Jabolo and Anschutz designed both these high-end 9015 models together. Some parts have been exclusively produced and this uh, setup has not been available nationally and internationally for purchase until now. So what was the goal for this new configuration? The high quality 9015 has fans all over the world and a while ago there was a ISSF World Cup tournament in Seoul and the junior class was won with a 9015. This means um, the guns and the systems included uh, in, in them are exactly the same that achieved a World Cup win. Um, uh, they are used for national championships and it's, it's the best of the best. I'll try to show it to you step by step today, but why did we go for exactly this sniper setup? By now I have more than 370 videos online, I reviewed around 120 guns alone and I have been shooting even more. I tried different sports from bench rest to hunter field target, field target, standing, sitting, lying, sh shooting spring pistons, shooting PCPs and CO2. I think over the last years I showed about everything there is around air gun shooting. Personally, shooting with maximum precision is one of my biggest passions. But not standing like Olympic shooters or World Cup shooters, I prefer sitting down at the table on my shooting arena in the attic after a long and hard working day and then trying to shoot the smallest spreads or the smallest targets with a top-notch air gun. From rice corns to pinheads to card splits, which is uh, shooting through the axis of a, a playing card. So basically maximum precision is what's the most fun for me. The one discipline you can train outdoors is bench rest shooting when you want this extreme precision. Bench rest shooting is not that popular yet in Germany, at least in the 7.5 joule range. I know of no contests and I wouldn't even know a club close by where I could train for it and get the maximum over 10 to 25 meters distance. I was thinking how I could name this whole thing and a, a term I established over the years is the Freizeitschützen, meaning hobby shooters, which caught on and now in forums people call themselves Freizeitschützen and, and hobby shooters. So um, now I came up with a new term for this uh, and I call it the attic sniper or if it fits the garden or basement sniper, which means I want to address the shooters which strive for maximum precision guns, no matter the distance they have at hand so they can yeah, so they can shoot tiny targets. I thought a lot about all this and uh, together with my team. Um, and yeah, so we also launched some new targets, which you can find at diabolo.de slash en. You'll also find them as download versions right next to these guns. So uh, you can print and shoot your own tiny little targets until you got the cards and you can shoot your gun or, or the 
1915 as Attic Garden Basement Sniper, call it whatever you want. Now, why did we launch two new models? Well, the 1915 models out on the market until now are highly specialized for 10 meter shooters and can be configured almost indefinitely, which also makes them very expensive. These guns range from 3,500 euro or even 3,800 euro, which for us addicts snipers, I'll use it right away, is a bit over the top. Another thing is, I have to like the look of my gun. Just getting the maximum precision, but it looks like, well, just not beautiful from my point of view, and then I'm having less fun with it. That's why we took the 9015 system and configured the stocks so they look really nice. Um, and they are adaptable, so you can adjust them to your body, but in a way it makes the maximum sense. Then we open up new options to attach the regular accessories you know, like a bipod or a silencer. The regular 10 meter guns are not prepared for this, um, but for us as uh, hobby shooters it's super important. I know a lot of people just like to shoot with a nice bipod or especially in, in rental apartments um, you want to use a silencer to get it super silent for indoor use or yeah in your attic, your basement. We chose two different models, one with a wooden stock, you can see it right now, and an aluminum version. Both come with an adaptable cheek piece and butt plate. That was very important to us because depending on how you set up your scope, um, you want your cheek to rest on the cheek piece um, while looking through it and the butt to attach smoothly to your shoulder. This is super important for the precision we want to achieve with these guns. Of course, we also looked for matching colors when designing the guns. Um, here we could also call it a black sniper. The ALU model is completely in black uh, with a few silver components like uh, the silencer adapter, I'll show you later, the front end of the cartridge here on the system and at the cheek piece. The other parts are black uh, anodized, so it fits best and yeah, it looks as awesome as possible. <laughs> the wooden variant is also held in black uh, and be this beautiful walnut. It's not cheap beech wood, uh, but a beautiful walnut stock. And yeah, you just get the maximum quality and I have no other choice but to give it a 10 out of 10 for material and craftsmanship. It just doesn't get any better. What we also liked is the thicker barrel grease casing. It is a 19 millimeter casing over the 20.1 inch barrel. The barrel is uh, 51 centimeters long and same as the whole gun, it is made in Germany. It is all produced in Ulm at Anschütz where they build their own precision match barrels and where other manufacturers that want maximum precision buy at Anschutz to get the best parts and precision for their guns. You are looking at an alpha version here because what is missing right now is uh, it's already built in over here. Just removing this and also the adapter. Okay, so here is an implemented socket with a thread to attach the optional adapter to a half inch UNF. The half inch UNF adapter is 10 millimeters long, so you can attach every common silencer. What looks really good are the Donny FL silencers. We are, uh, uh, we are the official Donny FL distributor for Germany meaning 
our uh, product palette at Yabolo.de slash EN holds quite a few different models like um, the Fatboy and Fatboy Extension, a, uh, a fitting compensator, there's the Sumo, the Koi, the Tanto, the Emperor, this huge beast of a silencer, <laughs> and uh, also the Emperor for the AAHP Max um, and the right adapter for it in case you want to silence your HP Max the best way possible. So, yeah. Now, back for the 9015 Sniper. I uh, just want to talk about a few specialties. I already said it, there's an inner thread to mount the optional adapter and an optional silencer. The barrel casing is matte black. Inside is the 20.1 inch 51 centimeter Anschutz barrel. Here is the aluminum cartridge with up to 200 bar pressure. The alu cartridge is super lightweight weighing only 410 gram. The cartridge has a 5 8 inch thread. In case you don't have a 5 8 uh, uh, pump or compressor, you can directly attach it to a bottle. Um, you get all that stuff at diabolo.de slash en. I just want to stress that we are working hard on a daily base to make your shopping experience the best possible. We have a PCP guide where you choose your gun, no matter if you bought it at our place or somewhere else, doesn't matter. And if you want to attach a pump or a compressor or a bottle, um, you will see visualized in different graphics uh, which adapters you need to easily attach whatever you have with whatever you buy. Okay, now for the system and it is just epic. The system is of course regulated with a very good air efficiency. The regulator has a filter, so no particles get into it. The system has a service-free stabilizer, so no vibration at all disturbs the system. This means your shots are so smooth you won't even realize it in your scope. Um, there's a repeating lever on the side. Here on the system you have the safety. The great thing about the system is if you, for example, just want to do some trigger training, there's a dry training option where you don't actually shoot, you just train the pull of, uh, uh, of the trigger um, or the trigger finger, uh, yeah, without firing a shot. Here on the other side is the repeating lever. I said already that the stabilizer is service-free. Back here is the V0 screw, where you can set the power of your gun to exactly 7.5 Joule, which are allowed in Germany. I'm expecting most of you to use this gun for competitions in field target or hunter field target. Um, in uh, 2000. 18 or 19 I took part in a training camp in Kölschhausen with the same system on another stock. I won the hunter field target competition and the whole weekend which was a combination of both competitions. We were around 50 contestants and I could win it with this gun and I was super happy it was such a good companion um, which was a nice transition to the competition uh, in Kölschhausen I promoted here in my German video. Since it, since it was held long ago when you are watching this English video I can only say keep your eyes open for the annual competitions in Kölschhausen or elsewhere. It is a ton of fun uh, and with this gun everything is possible. The guys from the club in Kölschhausen are super nice and they are doing a lot for the shooting sport. They hold training sessions to explain field target and hunter field target. There are different competitions you can take part in if you want. There will be prizes. We also sponsored some in the past and probably again in the future. So yeah, um, just register and go there. Um, well, and don't forget to get your own sniper beforehand. <laughs> Geht da mal hin, meldet euch an und wenn das Ganze 
So, don't get confused, Andy is talking about the German competition right now. Um, hang in there. We are talking about the gun again. So, yeah, I had to restrain myself from talking about this gun too soon. I would have loved to inform you much sooner, but it was important to us to know, uh, to now show a gun and say, well, you can buy it around Christmas next year. <laughs> uh, but as soon as the video airs, the gun is available in Germany. We deliver within two to five workdays at diabolo.de slash n so you can easily grab it for the next competition and start rolling up the field from behind. <laughs> okay, now back to the gun. Next, I already mentioned it, you have an adjustable cheek piece. Um, so you can set the perfect height to look through your scope. Back here is the butt plate. You can use it to set the length because the gun should fit perfectly no matter how tall you are. And here you can see the grip which fits your hand perfectly and you reach the trigger comfortably. Why did I say nothing about the trigger until now? Now this is a real banger. The trigger is the world's best mechanical trigger, period. This is my personal opinion and I know I'm not alone with it. It is a uh, patented trigger with a four ball ball bearing um, which holds the trigger blade. There is no play and a steady travel up to the trigger pull. And uh, of course pre-travel, trigger weight and trigger pull are adjustable. You can move the trigger blade back and forth, up and down, left, right, turn it sideways to adapt it to your hand and then you get to the trigger weight careful now adjustable from 30 to 170 gram we'll take a look at what i set it to if you set it to 30 you basically just imagine the shot and you already trigger it with a minimal movement the trigger is a main factor for your precision and here you get a completely adjustable maintenance free trigger of the highest quality Like I said, I think it's the best mechanical trigger in the world. Well, why am I so proud? I bet some of you pause the video and check the shop. These guns don't cost three or four thousand euros, but we got them as of now when releasing the video. This one for 1800 euros and this one for 2150 euros. From my point of view, feel free to compare it with other match guns be it uh, Feinberg, Bauer, Walter or uh, Stair, uh, compare the prices and see if you can find a setup looking like this for us hobby shooters on this perfect level, including silence adapter and the option to attach a bipod. I'm saying you won't find anything. So that's why I'm so proud that Anschutz uh, worked with us to give us a chance to present these guns and, and to give you the chance to get the best out of 7.5 tool. Poof, my mouth is all dried up. It's time to get to the practical part and we are starting it with the trigger weight test. I'm just grabbing my trigger weight tester to, uh, to show you how I set the trigger. You can believe me, the trigger weight can be set from 30 to 170 gram. You see how smooth repeating works. Okay, you see I set my trigger to 77 gram. That's perfect for me and uh, better than anything I know from the from the hobby sector. And uh, yes, 
it, it will set new standards if you are about precision. If, if you want to shoot semi-automatics, it's a different story. But if you are in photo precision and, and the quality, you won't have to search for another gun anymore. I'll uh, show you the regulator performance next with the Chromie test. Um, so you'll see that the trigger is not the only epi component on this gun. And afterwards, I've talked a lot, we'll finally take some shots and you'll see what this gun has to offer. You see my excitement? <laughs> Have fun with the Chromie test and the shooting test. Okay, I'm getting comfortable. And we'll take 10 shots. King Yang 0 0.55 gram. And uh, these are don't, 8.48 grain. And we'll check consistency. I see it is set a little bit too fast. Can go down two or three meters. One hundred and sixty five would be fine if I had set it up. But you see it is really close together. I don't know how many shots I took. Can see it anywhere. Would be nice to have this in German. Doesn't matter. Let's be well, 10, cool. From 167 to 170, average of 168. Spread of three meters, 1.2 standard deviation from the average. We can work with that, right? <laughs> so finally, 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 some precision shooting. Have fun. Yeah, guys, you've waited for so long. We we finally take the shooting test now. Please mind, I will not target the sender because I don't want to shoot off my aiming spot. I'll uh, try not to hit the camera over there. It's zeroing in on my target. This looks good. And it's all about the spreads we can get with this gun. And uh, later in the next round, I'll go for our new sniper targets we designed for this. Okay. Uh, for the setup, Anschutz 9015 Sniper, ALU version. Akutec WB04 Bipod via Bipod adapter. Silencer adapter and a Donny FL Tanto. Sportsmatch ATP 61 mount, mounted on the 11 meter, millimeter prism rail, sorry, and the element nexus scope on top. I'd say we get started. It's about time we take some precision shots. Let's go, guys. And again, not aiming for the center. Okay. Now stop talking. Concentration, let's go. Well, that's funny. It's not on purpose that I'm hitting the center, that's random. <laughs> Just don't mind the center, look for the spread. The trigger is a dream come true.
trying to keep my pulse down. No clue how many shots I took. Honestly, it didn't count. Take one more. Well, <laughs> did I promise too much? Let's take a closer look at the target. That was nice. Now let's start sniping. I'm using one of the two available sniper targets. And uh, when you try for yourself, you will see that it is not that easy. They are super small. I hope I correctly set the scope back again. You remember I adjusted it a bit before. But yeah, you saw the spread. Super awesome. <laughs> and now we will go for these maybe two to three millimeter diameter targets. Let's see if I hit something. Okay, let's go. With a, with a gun as precise as this with regular targets, you have to admit it is getting boring. You, you have to find other challenges. <laughs> A perfect shot is when the whole target disappears, but that actually is a challenge. That one was perfect. The pellets fit tight into the barrel. A little too high. Damn. This is this is about half millimeters. I'm, yeah. Going for the center now. Yes. Nice. The good thing with these targets is you have around. 20, didn't really count it, targets. I can talk a bit now. I already showed you that the gun is precise. Um, I moved the butt plate out a bit and I raised the cheek piece. You can go even higher and you can also attach a Picatinny rail on top so you can uh, change different scopes depending on how you're shooting. That's yeah, always an option and of course you get all you need in our shop. Pling, next one gone. So amazing <laughs> and a ton of fun. If you just want to test the targets, download them at yabolo.de slash en. Search for 9015 or navigate through weapons and unshoots where you'll find these guns. And there you can also download the targets. Of course you can order the physical version right away. Um, if you look at the target right now, it is the pre-live version. By now the final versions are in the store. Uh, these are pre-production prints. Uh, um, I got them and cut out by hand. That's why they look a bit weird. Um, you'll get yours machine cut and not as crooked as these. I, I try to get straight cuts, but yeah, with my two left hands. <laughs> Yeah, it, it didn't work out that well. 
the 1915 is service free. The only thing you can do, you don't need to oil or grease anything. The only thing you can do uh, when it is not precise anymore uh, is cleaning the barrel. Um, just search 507 at diabolo.de slash en and you'll find them. Ah, I was shaking. And it, if you have more space available at home, um, you don't have to shoot the targets over 10 meters. You can maybe go for 20. I think up until 25 meters, you have an extraordinary precision. Um, the the 7.5 joule really are, are strong enough for 25 meters. Oh no, I have to aim a bit further left. Another one top right. I'll try and hit it perfectly. Last one was bad. Yeah, almost. It's not that easy. I can see my heartbeat in the scope. Maybe I should use another support for the stock in the back. Yeah, this one was very good. Now I'll go for the one on the right. Bam, bullseye. <laughs> so much fun. Now, now for the one at the little house at the lake. Ah, could be better. More concentration. Switch off excitement, switch on concentration. Maybe I should stop. <laughs> I'm working on this video for a few hours now and yeah. I want it as perfect as possible. The shooting test is just now, but the whole preparation uh, is a day's work without cutting it. Mm, I'm getting worse. I, I really have to check one more shot now. Nah. No, I need one to rehabilitate myself. <laughs> the beginning was so good, now I'm failing. That's it, a full on hit. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the result. This is the result for the 1915 Sniper. What I forgot to mention, this one is not just assembled and sent to you. Every gun is tested for its functions following a test protocol before it leaves the facility. You also get the original target card from the test so you can see the result your gun achieved and you just know what you can expect from it. I have no clue how long this video is by now. I talked a lot. Uh, we took a lot of shots. Thanks to everybody who is still sticking with me. I hope you had fun. So who is this gun made for? Definitely for hobby shooters since it is one of the best and most precise guns you can get for your hobby. It's also made for competitive shooters. You can just use the UIT rail down here to attach a hamster to shoot field target or hunter field target with it. And it is for club shooters. Just take the wooden version, for example, as your first gun. Um, it has great value for money while looking really good. It is not too technical and the whole 
technical configuration, it just fits. You could also say it's for the money savers. Sure, 1800 to 2100 euro is a lot of money. But if you want to get into match shooting, I told you before, they reach up to 4000 euro. Um, and here you get it for half the price. So, yeah, if you want to make this your prime hobby, it is a way to save money. Otherwise, I just want to send you to yabolo.de slash en. You'll find everything you see here from silencer to bipod to bipod adapter, mounts and scopes and the right uh, uh, pellets. Um, I'm shooting King Young right now, 0 0.55 gram, and I have the best results with these. But I haven't tested everything yet. If you use a different silencer, this could also have an effect. So yeah, if you tested something, feel free to leave a comment, write to share uh, your uh, setup with others. I, I just didn't manage to test everything yet. I think I said it all. I just want to say thank you to you guys for watching. Thanks to Anschutz for their trust and the possibility to have these exclusive models. I'm still super happy and excited and I hope I could inspire some of you so you buy or start saving for this one. It's absolutely worth it. Of course, it's not only made in Germany, in case you should have a problem and I didn't have a single one ever with my Anschutz guns. The service is in Ulm in Germany and they are super fast. Anschutz is known for that and the uh, professional high quality work. My mouth is dry. I had so much fun and thanks again for watching. I hope you'll tune in again next week. Let me know in the comments if the video was too long. What do, do you like more, wood or aluminum? And then we'll see us next week. Thanks for watching. Ciao, servus, Herr Gandhi.